Hi, my name is Kurt Ratchet Thousand Four, and today I'll show you how to to recognize from a genuine bill that is printed after the two two thousands, or otherwise known as the newer bills. Now, first off, we'll start with an obvious feature version. This version was printed after two thousand four, when there was too many people making fake counterfeit five dollar notes. As you can obviously see, there's a metallic strip. The five with the Canadian flags, and another five with with partial partial marking of the five, and the other remaining is on the other side. And obviously, you can see our watermark of our good old Sir Wilfrid Laurier. Plus, raised printing, intaglio printing, and a holographic strip. Should be obvious to any to anybody's eyes. Pretty obviously to naked eye, anyways. Now. These notes are the older, older versions. These are easily counterfeited, so that's why the Canadian Bank of Canada had to issue these notes, newer notes, with better security features. Pretty much these notes are phased out, but you, you would run into these once in a while. Now, <clears throat> now first off, you should, you should see a permanent tactile printing. Okay? This is only reserved for blind people, so, so yeah, it doesn't do much do much anyways. And the and if you rub your fingers over the blue ink of Laurier's face, it should be it should be rough. Plus, if you should rub rubber fingers over the letterings of Bank of Canada, it should be rough too. Now, the the second most obvious, not so obvious feature, is the tilted ink feature. I have to wait for this camera to capture it. You should see a 5 when you tilt it at a 45 degree angle, but I don't know why this camera isn't showing it. And yes, my camera's macro function is pretty crappy. Probably trying to try somewhere darker. Well, by the time I put it on YouTube, you wouldn't even see the 5, so pretty much useless to show it here. But if you tilt a note at a 45 degree angle at this area, you should see a little 5 coming up. So that's pretty much it on distinguishing a genuine $5 note. Or pretty much $10. Or pretty much any of the newer series.